I took this and I dropped it on the ground and that's what came out of it. Whoa! Oh! Did you the bike? Someone's taking a selfie with the Huracan. Right now, dude. That's pretty, awesome. That's pretty funny. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Driven Exotics. If you don't know who I am, my name is Damon Fryer, and I apologize if there's an echo, but we're in our bathroom at our hotel. And I'm Dave. We are back in LA, and it is amazingly warm. You guys, we're off to Avant Garde. We have to do some serious repairs on the Huracan. We've had some issues with it, overheating. I will explain everything when we get there but essentially all my fins on the AC condensers that sit in front of the radiators, the fins are destroyed. I don't know why, <laughs> considering I've plowed snow and all sorts of stuff and done multiple rallies all over the uh, country for the last two years. So it's time to give this, time to give her a little bit of TLC, you know, take care of the bull. We have arrived. Oh, I love that. <laughs> hey, Mark, what do you think of this? We got a bouncing car over here. I think the suspension's broken again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a small problem with the suspension. It's a bit of a. It's got a nervous tick. Back at. AGX you guys today we have a huge project to kind of undertake well I don't, I don't really have anything to do other than hold the camera of course but so what are we doing so I smashed all the fins I think everybody at home is gonna probably really understand more once we get the bumper off but we're tearing it your, apart your snow plow adventure <laughs> I'm plowing right now look at the front end you guys this thing is a beast oh, oh, oh. that's a little bit too far to the right drive my snowball rally cross like middle of the worst winter in a decade. We smashed all of the fins on which, the AC condensers, which sit in front of the radiators on a Huracan. And that's what's causing the car to overheat. not necessarily overheat, but it's it is. No, hot. it is. When I do excessive donuts in like Nevada or when it's hot here in the summer or long extended canyon runs, high RPMs, it does, it, it overheats, which it never did before. Why don't we make him do it? So we'll pull, the, no Whoa. listen, we'll pull these out, right? We'll put the new ones in and then we'll hand the old ones to Dave to straighten all the fins. I've Actually. done it before, man, it's easy. It just takes oh, time. Oh, this is like this drywall? I, I drywall mine. Fixing mudding. car kits? Yep, I can do it, man. Is radiator sharp? Like I can cut myself on there? I hope so, I mean, I, maybe. <laughs> you hope so? Hey, look who just showed up. How are you? Good, how are you? Were you that was a, he was going in for I a was, two. I was, was kind of awkward. He was, going in for, like... he was going in for a two arm hug. <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> Straight up did that. That was pretty awesome. We have to acknowledge Jeremy and Tasha Anderson from, what was it called? The Tudors, Tudors Vape Shop. Listen, I don't vape, I don't smoke, I don't do any of that stuff. However, I have, you know, I think honestly the vaping is the better choice. So check this out. These guys sent, Oh, what do you, what'd you guys estimate? Like five, $500 worth of stuff for the guys here at AGX. Yeah. So. Thank you, I can't really thank you guys enough. No, it's yeah, just about this. So you guys, hey, thank you for the gift to taking care of the crew here at AGX. They work very hard, extended hours. Yes, we always joke about it being 24 seven, but the reality is they're staying after hours to mess around with us. So this is a great way of showing a little love. Thank you very key. much. We need a key. key. Hold on. Key. Oh. Key. 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 Scratch, dense. Look at this. Look at this. Hey Dave, go New that parts. way. What's the condenser? Hey, oh, condenser. Oh, look. And hold on. 
This is how it's supposed to be. See how if I go back and forth, you can kind of see Mitch's face? That's there. because the fins are not completely matched. Let's see how far away we can get him. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Holy, dude, look how far. Keep going, Dave. Hey, we're Keep gonna going. bubble wrap the Huracan. Oh man, I love it. That little stamp right there. Lambo. Lamborghini. This is, this is an AC condenser. That's an actual radiator. This is the one that you have actually bent like a horseshoe. No. Oh yeah, that's the, the one, one we the front. smashed. The front is bent up like this a horseshoe. This is a front mount intercooler, you guys. Come on, come on, it's an intercooler, look at it. All right, Dave, Got Dave, shut your mouth when you're talking to us. <laughs> shut your mouth. Poor Dave. Hello. Here you go. Whoa! Oh, Just oh. joking. <laughs> this is gonna make a big difference because I can't wait to actually pull the old one out and hold it next yeah, to yeah. this. That's going to be the true, you'll get it then, the before and after. Yes! Just stick it in the front. Should we just mount it? Oh, that would be so scary looking. It is uh, five after two. How long is this gonna take? Vincero is timing you. Well, you let Vincero know that since they're keeping track of the time, we're gonna be done by 6 p.m. Six, four hours. Mark it down on the uh, on the timepiece. You've got your push it in. Yep, go. Cause you straight up, dude, we, these are chronographs. You putting on a chronograph, bro? Hey, I've chronographed you, bro. Man. This is real. That's low, buddy. You wanna, you wanna double team it? Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Uh, when, when, just, just jacking off. Casually. Oh, just, no. I mean, down here. Get your minds out of the gutter. I can't even comment on this right now. It's so inappropriate. This is a two-man double-handed jack-off. Hey, oh, hold on. Hey, jacking off too much. Wow, that's legit high. You won't even believe this. Get in on this action. Oh, my goodness. It won't, it won't even crack. I'm not as heavy as you. Oh, look, this is like big Tom Hanks. The piano. Don't even pretend like you know what you're doing. I don't. I never, I never said that I was trying to. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, what is this? Whoa, what is this? Whoa, that's whoa, the air horn. Get whoa, that out of here. Is that custom? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, there's the extra horn. Oh yeah, this is all coming out right now. Alex! So here you guys go, you got my next mod. It's a front bumper delete. You want me to put the back one on and I'm gonna show you guys up and take the front one off. Now guys, comment below, what should we do to get Alex back? I think if, I think we gotta go higher level and even nastier than what he did to me. But that was a full on install. These guys had that like all up in here and all up in there. You wanna oh. show them a before and an after? Holy. So, here so, we go. Got so, what we were saying is, is that although the AC condensers aren't leaking, they're just smashed beyond all time and energy of worth repairing. In front of this AC condenser is the actual radiator, which is back there. Behind. Yeah, so if we can't get any airflow to go through this, uh, we can't really expect the radiators to perform properly. So, that's what that's, we're gonna- That's the difference right there. Yeah. New. Destroyed, DD style. Absolutely, DD. You can Holy see wow. through it, right? Oh yeah, yeah, look at that. You can totally see through it. Okay, so when, the these, when the... these ones come out. Holy. All right, what's the dealio? Yeah, you're not seeing through that, are you? No. And that basically is the pattern of the duct that comes through the bumper. Yeah. So although we've got all this open, it doesn't see any airflow through it. So wherever you could absorb rocks you absorb them this is so these are the ac condensers yeah and that sits in front of that's the actual radiator that sits there that makes sense now okay so yeah. then that moves out of the way but we still have a ton of yeah. shrapnel in there it's holy still got a bunch of gross up in there yeah so we gotta we're so gonna how blow do we it do that is that what you do so the fins aren't bent yeah this part of it is fine it's not really uh like a total loss. It's a cleaning thing. Yeah, we're just gonna clean. You got Angeles Crest there. You got a little bit of Las Vegas there. <laughs> uh, somewhere in the middle of somewhere that we're there. That's the difference we're talking about right there. Nice destroyed. Yeah, we're doing that.
You know what? We got a mituation. <laughs> we got a mituation, baby. Oh yeah, I know. I know, it looks like another dog, my little mic thing. They don't know what to do. What? I know, I know. Oh, oh. oh see, they always go to nip at it. What's up? Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh. He's got the mic! 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 Oh! Oh! No, no, no. No, stay there. You're so cute. What do you think, bro? What do you think? What do we got? The mituation right here. So the damination right oh, here. Oh, damination. Damination from that. I don't know. It's a little, little, there. Speed bump, bro. Little, speed bump. Little oops. Yeah, a little oops. You guys, I legit am not going to wreck this because I ain't doing no more snowplow videos with this car. We'll get another car for that, won't we, Dave? Yes, we will. <laughs> Boys. Why is he laughing so weird? It's kind of creepy. <laughs> it's, it's like... Woo! So guys, it's important to always finger tighten these at first, that way you can move it around. What do you think, Mark? Am I doing a good job so far? Mark's holding the camera right now. Dude, I am holding the camera perfectly. Hey, Mitch, what's an AC condenser do? Go. I thought we were on knock-knock jokes. I had a... Uh, a high school work experience program at a speaker shop at Car Audio, and I was screwing in the uh, big 12 inch subwoofer into a box, and I slipped and smashed a hole right through the cone of the speaker. That's a total Dave thing to do. Yeah. All right, those are nice and tight. We have the AC condenser lines back on. Now we're gonna run some coolant through here, make sure coolant. I didn't screw it up. Oh my God. Coolant. I already Dave, screwed it up. We we're gonna run this. We're gonna run some F1 Turon R34A throw on How through it. How much throw on does this take, Dave? 200 pounds. We're gonna run some. AC coolant through the system to make sure that I didn't screw this up and it leaks before we put all the plastics back on. Welcome to the R8. It's great. <laughs> We're making the R8 great again. You know, you're getting pretty good with this car now. I just leave it in one gear and ride the clutch. Let's go! <laughs> Wee! Here we go! <laughs> Look at the size of this beast! Hold on, look at, the, look at the mud falling off the window as it comes down. Dave, I'll give you a thousand bucks if you lick this thing clean. Dave was saying these are 40 inch tires. 40 inch, yeah. 40 inch with a seven and a half I mean, inch. Dude, foot. look at it. They're, they're freaking taller than the fender of the R8. Dude, watch out. Oh, potato. What? Potato. <laughs> Listen, you guys, hear me out, hear me out. We're in this pub bar and grill. We love this place. We discovered it last night. Steak and prawns, off the hook. Yeah. It's called, I'm gonna give you a free shout out here. It's called the Spring Bock Bar and Grill. It's just, I don't know, it's got animals on here. That's actually the owners. <laughs> That's the owners. I had a steak with some prawns last night. Absolutely amazing. We're gonna, I sent a little shot of the menu to the boys via text. We're gonna get food for everybody at AGX so they don't have to stop working on the Huracan. See how this works? See how this works? How's this coming? We're all done. Good, no thanks Holy. to you. Holy. We saved one part for you. What you part did you save for me? How the Jeep beat the Audi to AGX? You got Captain Slow over there. That's why. See, he already, he already, okay. knew, the, he already knew the answer. Why is, he ask, why is he asking me answers? He's rhetorical. Why are you asking me answers? Sorry, I just, I just wanted to put it Why are you there. asking me answers? Why are you, hold on. <laughs> Why are you asking me? <laughs> Why are you asking me questions? Listen, no one said I was smart. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Holy. That's dirt and rocks and stuff coming out of my rear radiator. I thought it was like using a steam machine on it for a no. second. No, no, look at that. That's all That's all dust and dirt floating around. <laughs> oh yeah. You guys are doing a good job, thank you. I'm excited because all of this is gonna provide much higher quality cooling to what is very much needed. Is it not possible that with doing all this, we could essentially get more horsepower back? Absolutely. Woo -hoo! Hey, look, I took this and I dropped it on the ground and that's what came out of it. Oh! All of that was in the radiator. Were you this driving the, on the beach? This is the AC condenser. I threw it around just for fun. I beat the hell out of it. Look at that. 
Bro, I mean, come on. I wonder why I was having overheating issues. Wow. It's not even just about the, the fins being bent. When you have that much dirt jammed, like those are little rocks jammed in between all those fins, air can't go through there. I never even thought about that, that the rubber would go through the little vented wheel liner. Get in there. Rubber, rocks, dirt, bent fins. Lamborghini's like, no wonder why you. God, it's overheating. Nice car in the hands of the wrong people. Oh! I'm done with if your I, emotional abuse! If I ever get a Lamborghini, I'm just gonna let it sit in the garage and never, ever take it out. Flashbacks of uh, Palm Springs right now. <laughs> about time, dude. What? The belt time. Oh, dude, you are. How did you do that? We haven't lined it up yet, but the belt is on the car now. <laughs> so, Mark. Yeah. What are you doing? We are reattaching the car to the bumper or the bumper to the car depending on how you want to look at it. Can so. you show the people what's left of this oh. this under tray piece here that we bought from Lamborghini in Italy and had shipped overnight? You ready? Yeah, you how ready? much is how much of it's left? Not much. <laughs> you see where Damon's torn it apart here, 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 everywhere. There's nothing yeah. left. So is now look at this attached to the front carbon piece again yeah. and runs all the way back to back here. Straight to the back of the car. I was down on the floor of a garage. Damon got dirty. Achievement unlocked. How, how dirty is Mark? He's been on there for like an hour. That's all from my car. And ironically, you guys listen, you're, th you're thinking to yourself, oh, the dirt, but not the green and the pink thing and the white. Yeah, no, it is. That happens to be yet even more confetti from the confetti bomb on a spade rally. Bro, the confetti stuff is still coming out of my car. It's funny in the moment, but when you get someone with that, oh, it's the prank that keeps on giving. Dude, SV. What do you think of the SV, Dave? I think it's sexy. It's water. sick in, in the satin black. In 2012, when I got my very first, what I considered an exotic car, which was a 2011, uh, brand spanking new Maserati Gran Turismo MC edition. I love that car. Four seats, bright red interior, white exterior, tons of carbon. I had uh, a 21 inch wheel on the rear and a 20 inch wheel on the front. It was It was beautiful. I talked my wife pregnant into doing my very first supercar rally, which was a one day event, Italian Stampede. We drove from British Columbia all the way to California in that car attended the rally and we did the whole nine yards. That was my first year at Monterey. And we bought tickets to go be a part of the Lamborghini Gala because Lamborghini was my ultimate dream supercar. And we go to the gala and lo and behold, what is sitting right out front on display? A satin black Avent Aventador. It wasn't an SV at the time. They had not made the SV yet. And I was just fell in love with that car and was like, that is one of my dream cars. And here it is in the actual crazy SV edition. Now, I always thought this looked like, not the gray car that Bruce Wayne drives, but I thought like, this is the legit Batmobile. Yeah. Like, this is crazy. And look what he has in this car. It's not even stock seats. He's got these crazy carbon bucket race seats. Now, I always thought these seats were super uncomfortable looking. I was like, there is no way a hard carbon bucket seat with a tiny amount of fabric that is basically, you know, gonna do nothing would be comfortable. Well, guess what? We just checked them out. We sat, we sat in a set of these seats and are they comfy? They're awesome. They're actually really good. And then what did we find out? There's a set here somewhere. There's a set in a bunk card somewhere. Go. For what car? The Huracan with the rails and the harbor. You gotta go find it though. Here we, oh, oh okay. hold wow. on, turn that around for a second though. Wow. Crazy. Six yeah. pounds. Six. Get out. Get out. And Get what's out. the other seat weigh? You guys. And you know it's like, because he's got no muscles. Ooh. These are nice. Crazy light. Let's install them. Tonight. Crazy. How we do? We done? Doing great. We done? Done. Woo. Go team. Oh, more Dave, Dave, whoa, this whole car going down on different <laughs> angles is really freaking me that way. Dave, good job. Oh, 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 and guess what, you guys? Guess who's back in the vlog? Amelia is here. Hey, what's 
going on, guys? <laughs> so what's the plan tonight? What are we doing? Uh, hopefully not getting in too much trouble. We're back at our hotel. What a day. You have a good day? It was a good day. All the way one up. So, hey, listen. You guys had an epic day. Once again, the whole crew, the whole crew at a Avantgarde killed it. My car. The car is now cooling. It's, it's extra cool. What can now. I say? It's a pretty cool car now. That's awful dad jokes. <laughs> hey, listen. Shopdd.com. Go pick up some merch. We did all the way up to the big boy sizes. Triple XL t-shirts. Go get them. Link in description. Dave, what else you got to say for the people? Smash that subscribe button. Join us on yet another adventure tomorrow in the vlog. We got some really cool stuff planned. We're going to head over to our buddies garage go pick up some of his supercars and go do some shenanigans he's got some crazy stuff does he not oh yeah you'll see good night guys peace you're gonna suffocate them <laughs>